I think it was Saturday, I was notified, hey, you should come to the front camp. I was still in a really weak state. But someone's like, hey, you should come out front and we're being protested. And I was like, no way, because I like one of the coolest things about Burning Man is how, you know, an action inspires a like, counter action and artistic expressions expire different expressions. And so like like the Billion Bunny March, they get carrot protesters. They, they, somebody I know and they called me a while back and, and I didn't they wanted to talk about they want to kind of talk through some frustrating things about the world. And I said, I don't have energy for it. And I think that frustrated them that I was not willing to to spend time in the darkness with him. So this was protest was partially his way of kind of saying, okay, well, you don't want to talk about it? Well, we're gonna, I'm gonna make you talk about it or think about it. Told you ignore me at your peril. Here it is. You want a beer? <laughs> yeah. And I respect that. I mean, in, in the sense of art, it, it was effective. It hit me. So I, I, I got home, I talked to him on the phone, and he said that, you know, I think that you should address the reality of the world more. You should make sure that the people that are listening to you know that there is stuff happening in the world and they should do something. They should not just pretend like everything's good in the world. And I said, so say for example, you know, I might want to maybe like, you know, start a homeless charity and do things to hope, help people in, in my community that are experiencing uh, homelessness. Because, you know, I, I've done that and I have been running the charity for 12 years. Uh, is, is that the kind of thing that you're talking about? And, you know, I, I should try to like maybe get volunteers to come and help them to find the joy of gifting in our communities year round. That's maybe the kind of thing that you're talking about. That's what I should be doing. And it's like, well, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, okay. And I told him that I feel pretty clear that I know the line that I need to stay around in terms of facing the darkness. If I face it too much, I collapse, I retreat, and I am not able to be energized and of service in the world. I don't live in a bubble. I don't pretend there's nothing. I don't, I don't only spread light with a denial of the darkness. Could I be, in, be helping more? Of course. But I know myself that if I listen to him too much, I wouldn't have the same amount of fire to do what I can do now. So I know that line. I try to not get too complacent and also not get too overwhelmed. This burn was something that got me in the place of overwhelm. It got me seeing so much darkness around my community that it I'm less energized and effective in trying to be an activist. So yes, your art worked. Did it work in the way that you hoped? I don't know. I don't know. Time will tell, but it was effective. I say bravo. It was it was it was powerful art in the sense that uh, it made me and people think. Um, and it was honestly flattering to know that um, Pink Heart and my my thoughts in the world garnered enough energy that someone uh, put the energy, time, and money into, into pushing back. So thank you to the beautiful Burning Man prank art and all those that chimed in and, and grabbed signs and protested and all my campmates that took it all and had fun with it. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for being a part of this moment in my life. Would love to hear from you. Would love to uh, um, hear what you think about my recent YouTube video. It's getting a lot of views, which has been really nice. I've got a bunch more videos and pictures to share. So have a beautiful day. Love you.